Good morning. So yesterday, <clears throat> yesterday I was, <clears throat> excuse me, yesterday I was uh, doing testing of failure conditions um, for my Article API, and I successfully got to the point where. Um, I had uh, dates, the a, the end date and the date taken um, for the first measurement being tested um, so that if uh, they either not set or um, um, the date taken is in the future um, when it shouldn't be because obviously you can't take a measurement in the future um, or if the date taken is uh, later than the uh, end goals date um the end goals date the date of the end of the goal um then obviously they would all uh, fail correctly uh, and i left myself a little to do um to then make sure that dates are treated as dates rather than date times um and i had a little bit of time last night to do that um so um i did a little bit of work um creating a test. So um, this is what I have, um, and it did result in needing to make some changes to my API um, code, uh, not the API itself. Um, so I basically create um, an end date, which is um, today's date um, without any um, hours, minutes, seconds, and UT, uh, UTC format. And then I create a date taken, which is actually just 12 hours later. That's so I can check to see and when I do the um, the checks for whether end date uh, the date taken is after um, the end date, it should be the same. It shouldn't fail um, just because it's 12 hours later um, that we're passing in the timestamp for. Um, so it was, it was pretty easy stuff. The usual stuff we've got like uh, we're creating a new role, uh, a new row. Um, and we expect it to work, passing in the end date. Um, and I found out that I need to truncate um, uh, dates. Well, I didn't need to do the end date because it was already truncated effectively, but I'm just doing it for consistency here. Um, but when doing the measurements, I need to make sure that the, um, the date expected to be inserted into the measurements is actually a date rather than a date time. So I'm expecting the date taken, even though it's got 12 hours in it, um, to actually be rounded down to the nearest, nearest uh, day. Um, so I learned all about time dot truncate and how to work with that, which was interesting um, and quite useful because I could probably use that um, in this scenario here um, I could have just done um, the end day as being time dot now truncated basically, um, and you'll see I do actually do that later on in the API. Um, and then um, the usual stuff creates the measurements, blah blah blah, and then I'm just passing those two dates, um, um, and it did fail. Um, and then what I had to do was actually change my um, API um, so that the uh, goal takes in a date um, because I wanted to make sure um, that I'm validating the date fully before I call create goal because create goal is a very low level function. Um, so I ended up um, doing this test here. Uh, so I'm basically truncating the end date and truncating the date taken um, to the nearest hour. Um, and then I do a comparison of the Unix timestamp because obviously that's pretty easy. That's like a scalar uh, comparison. Um, uh, and that that helped. That made it pass because beforehand um, I was only doing um, comparisons based on um, the actual timestamp, which was an int in 64, um, which is no good. 
when you do actually pass in a timestamp with a time element. Um, so anyway, I fixed it all up um, and it's all working now. Um, I could probably just give that a quick test. Uh, let's do it. There we go. Test minus V so I can see it all. Yep, so it's passing. So that was all hunky doy. Um, it's working nicely now. Um, but I need to now go ahead um, because I've made all these changes to the um, API validation. Um, so I'm now obviously checking that we do have a verb and we do check that we have all the dates in the right format. I need to do some quick checks on the front end um, just to see whether I've broken anything. I'm not going to do any great validation on the front end just yet uh, because I've got tons of work to do on the front end and at some point I will do proper validation there. But I do want to make sure um, that it's handling the errors that are coming back um, without actually blowing up. I'd want it just to log it or something. I'm not having done any like notifications of hey you've got an error here. Um, because um, of the work I think I mentioned a day or two ago, um, I updated the way that the JavaScript um, is generated for this little library here um, and it's actually returning proper errors um, in the response so I need to make sure that I'm now handling that so let's just commit this off and then we'll move on to the front end uh, so let's change will test that go end date first taken Dates rather than times. That'll do. Okay, let's just. Uh, Close off those two for the moment. Um, and now we will switch to working on the client. So I need to actually just build it and roll it out and then um, we'll see what's what. Uh, so let's just make sure we've got everything up and running. Uh, so hopefully, ah, that's not great. I knew that might happen because of um I just did some some updates and I might have broken things. Great. Okay, I need to therefore I might not be able to do that without actually stopping the video. Let's see what the status is of just a quick check. Interesting, okay. Let's see. I might have to stop the video and start again. We'll see. Usually I just need to log out and log back in if I've made a bunch of changes and broken dbus. Because uh, I did, just before this, make a whole bunch of changes. Okay. 
that one looks a bit better. Let's just check Damon service. Okay. All right, let's just double check that then. Okay, we're back. Good stuff. Right. So hopefully that means Juju is back up and running. We are, that's good. Uh, let's stick that into watch cycle. Right, okay. So now we've got, I've just basically booted uh, five, one, two, three, four, five, five servers, which is nice. Okay, let's, see what happens when we just do a make upgrade and see what things break. That's doing the thing. That's good. Okay, it deploy it. Let's see what happens. Have we got any problems? I'll just stick uh, console on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the warnings. I only want to see errors and stuff. Okay, let's uh, see if we can create a a new one. Uh, test app ten times. Yeah. All right. So this should just work without any issues in theory. Um, and our first measurement is one. And it's today. So this should, should just work. It did. Cool. Let's create another one. Um, and not pass anything in. So hopefully this will just log something. Ah, of course I do have some validation. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, we'll do... Wobble, because I think we've already got a wibble. And we will make the date taken be in the future, which should fail. Why did we get back? Measurement date taken should not be in the future. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. That's great. So what's going to happen in the future is I'm going to be catching those. Um, at the moment, I'm not at all. Um, so it did, it created, it had the token. We had a timestamp um, and an end date. So, and I got the expected error. Good stuff. Oh well, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be. I th I really did think I was I had broken everything, um, because I didn't really know whether I was going to get proper errors back or not. Sorry, rather whether I was going to be able to handle the errors. Um, so I'll just double check my code there. Um. Let's make sure this is actually up to date. Presumably it is. I should actually, now that I've... Good point. 
did it pass it into? I should actually double check the timestamps on that. I need to make sure that the um oh it doesn't didn't change. Okay, yeah, the only thing that I actually changed um, was to download the template for the Go server so that it actually generates errors. Um, the JavaScript side is unchanged. There's nothing nothing different there. Um, so, yeah. So what is... Uh, let's double check how that handles the errors now. So add goal. Does the fetch? Yeah, if it's an error, we throw an error. That's good. That's exactly what I want. Um, otherwise, um, it just returns the the JSON. Good stuff. Well, that's all I really wanted to do today. Um, so it's going to be short and sweet. Um, I've basically got everything working um, that I wanted to get working uh, at first on the client, um, on the server tests. And what I do need to do now is start adding more tests for um, the other API endpoints. So at the moment, um, let's see what we've got. It's probably easier to look at the uh, definition actually. Oh, I guess it's up there as well. Um, so at the moment we've just covered add goal, um, and we already have login um, covered. What I do need to do now is make sure that edit goals works in the same way because at the moment um, there's no validation in there. Um, so I need to basically refactor and port in the add goal validation into edit goal um, somewhat. Um, there's slight changes there. Um, and I do then need to make sure that update goal um, takes in a end date as a date, um, just like add goal now, um, just like create goal does. So create goal now takes time in. Um, I'm just passing that straight through. So I need to do all that. Um, and then I also want to um, do the work to make sure that um, all the valid token stuff is tested as well because at the moment um, I'm, I'm not doing any kind of testing there to make sure that uh, a failure is handled properly and all that kind of stuff uh, but uh, I need to get on with my day today um, so I'm not going to do that this will be short and sweet um, until next time take care